In my last video, I modeled this little cute little fancy table, probably in more of an end table. I could see that with a fabric on it and a flower vase or a picture or a coffee cup or something like that. Anyways, uh, I provided the uh, reference imagery to model that along with me if you want to as well. And in this video, I'm going to unwrap it and texture it. And all I've done since then is I have applied the modifier so there were subdivision surfaces on this. And anything that had a subdivision surface of two, I brought down to one, and then I joined it all together. And here it is. And I also changed this, you know, usually it comes in here, triangulates to that, and I, I don't like that, so I changed that. So we're going to unwrap this, and what I want to do here uh, is really simple. I just want to select sort of an edge, like right there on the edge. I just want to break this up. So I'm going to mark a seam right there, and I'm going to come up to right about there. I'm going to mark that seam. And so if I take this piece, I'm just going to U unwrap, and that's going to do that. And for this one, I just want to break it up as well. So I'm going to put a mark a seam there. If I take that and I unwrap it, I will get that. Now this piece, however, right here, I want to put a few seams here. And so I'm just looking to, to break this up as well, like that. And maybe I'll put a seam in here. Uh, I'm not really thinking about this too much. I'm just arbitrarily doing this. Put a seam there. And maybe I'll put a seam right here. And that's probably enough. If I take that, I don't know what's going on here. Let's, uh, let me clear those. Something weird happened there. Let me do that again. I don't, I don't know what happened there. All right, so I'm going to take that, you, and unwrap. So those would be okay. And for these pieces, I'm just going to select a bit of each of them. Control L. So they're linked. I'm going to smart UV project those with an idle margin of 0 0.003. Let's see how they come out. And these pieces here, I'm going to take a piece of each of these, control L, U, and unwrap. So if I take the whole thing, it's all unwrapped, and now I'm going to pack it, and I'm going to press N and use UV Pack Master, but you could just use Blender for that. You can do average on scale if you want to as well. So I've got that, and now I'm going to save that as an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. All right, so here in Substance Painter, I'm going to press File, New. I'm going to switch this to OpenGL and click that. Select. I'll do this here and click Open. And there's my table. Next thing to do, of course, is to bake the mesh map. So I'll do that. I'm going to do that into 2K, uncheck ID and thickness. Okay, there it is. Looks fine. Let's turn on anti-aliasing and get into this so I'm going to create a fill layer and I'm going to come down here and this is going to be my base layer my color and I'm going to set a sort of a darkish brown kind of color and come back and change change that later so I'm going to call that base I'm going to create another fill layer and I come in here and choose just color and I want this to be a darker brown than the last one let's see it looks like a little bit darker let's make this one a little bit lighter and give that a try so I'm over here on this layer and okay so we're going to add a black mask and I'm going to add here a generator and the generator I'm going to use is this mask editor and this is where the magic is going to occur and I'm just going to play with these values uh, I'm going to put the, globe, the blur around 0 0.67 
and I'm going to put the balance at about, you may not see all of this stuff happening on the spot, 0 0.26. I want my contrast up relatively high, 0 point, try 0 0.6. All right, ambient occlusion. Let's add some ambient occlusion. Let's go for 0 0.33 or so. Curvature opacity, we'll go for 0 0.62. And let's watch as I adjust the world space normal. You may or may not see the effect happening. You see as I do that, you can start seeing that brings in that. So I'm going to go for about 0 0.34. 0.35 is okay so we're starting to get this all right so this is going to be a stylized relatively stylized um, material that we're creating here all right um, let me just see if I've missed anything okay that's fine I'm just gonna leave that there we create another fill layer and I'm going to use just color again. And on this layer, I'm going to add a filter. And the filter is going to be this baked, baked lighting stylized. So I'm going to add that. And under here, I'm going to make some changes to the material. And this one, just play around with the values. I'm just going to bring these up uh, a little bit, and a little bit of that. This one here, I want that, a little bit of that. Now, you didn't really see any changes, but watch, when I come over to the sun in the sky, I'm going to change the sun intensity to about 1.55. And I'm going to change the angles here of this. Uh, I'm going to go for 1.56 for this one and this one over here this is going to be about 194 mm -hmm. yeah that's something like that is okay all right here this stuff here I'm going to change that to a darker slightly darker blue this one's going to be a little bit more orange and this one I'm going to have as a brown color. Now let's come back here and I'm going to change this to soft light. I want to make sure this sun horizon angle, I want to make sure I rotate that. That's what I, I need there. That's more of what we are going for. Okay, good. All right, so let's carry on now. I'm going to add another fill layer. I'm going to choose color only. This time I want another brown, a nice dark brown. I'll start there. I'm going to add a black mask. I'm going to add a fill to that. And now we're going to get some texture going on in here. I'm going to choose um, grunge brushed. This one here. All right, now you can start to see some, some sort of grain coming in here. I'm going to switch this to triplanar. Come down here and we will change the balance to about 0 0.4 and the contrast to like something like 0 0.1 go for 0 0.18 and I'm gonna change the brush pattern all right now this is what we have and I need to adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to add a filter. And the filter I'm going to use is blur. 
and that's going to soften it up and I'm just going to leave the default blur there intensity that's that's probably fine and it's at this point that I can go back and make some changes to my base color let's try a lighter or darker I can come into this layer and add roughness to this all right that layer I had the big lighting on and change that a little bit I want to go back to the base layer here and I want to add a filter and I'll choose this HSL perspective and here I can adjust the saturation so I want a little bit more saturated drop the hue a little bit like that and we're getting that effect I'm going to come back over here and drop my roughness again a little bit shinier wood very pleasant all right so that's the main effect there and I'll just add a little bit of dirt on top of this at the very end I'll add a fill color and roughness I'll drag the roughness all the way up and make it dark we'll add a black mask with the generator and I'll choose dirt and I'll just lower the level of that and that'll just give it sort of an ambient occlusion effect and go in the, the, the creases in the cavities and, and I think I'll come over here and lighting really does matter for all of these things so I'll try some some different lighting try that and see how it looks I'm going to increase the texture size here to 2k and here's what we get I'll show you under a couple of different lighting different HDRIs I like this one okay so that is it that is the texture that is the model we're done all right you take all of these layers and press ctrl G put them in a folder give this a name wood stylized anything you want and then right click create smart material and then you'll always have that to apply to your models all right so thanks very much for watching hope that was uh, interesting or useful and we'll see you in the next video